Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just want to start off this video by saying that my allergies are literally through the roof. Um, my nose is burning, my eyes are watering, I'm sniffling like crazy. So if you hear that or you hear me clear my throat and you hear phlegm like it's gross, but I've been meaning to film this video for the past couple of days now. Um, and I literally just remember, and I got to work a little bit earlier so nobody will be around to distract me or to like run into me before all the teachers get here it's a teacher work day and everybody wants to say hey how was your weekend because we had a long weekend i want to go ahead and quickly film it to knock it out but um i did make another purchase and it was totally sporadic i wasn't i was kind of planning to buy a bag but i wasn't sure which one um when i saw this one i was like oh my goodness it gave me louis vuitton by the pool vibes um it's kate spade i'm not Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. I have to set it down for a second. I'm going to set it in my hands like this so y'all can still see it. Um, I'm not a huge Kate Spade fan. Um, her styles just don't, aren't, you know, that attractive to me. But when I saw this, it gave me the LV by the pool vibe. So I was like, yes, I am interested. And it has that very, like, slouchy, um, that very slouchy, um, the canvas is very, like, malleable. And it can fit in absolute you know what ton and as, whoop, as you guys can plainly see i'm gonna go all into what fits what it looks like inside there's a little kate spade emblem on it on the front and it is a snap closure a very strong snap closure too let me see if it'll do it i got her packed pretty full but let me see Um, I don't think it's gonna do it because the way I'm, I'm holding it at the bottom is like making it wide and so it's not snapping but when it does snap it's like very firm it's got two um, leather pull tabs on each side let me see if I can there we go two leather pull tabs on each side and there's another one right here <coughs> excuse me there we go and it has a leather leash on the inside that I always put my airpods on because I'm always trying to find them and I'm always losing them hang on a second guys sorry I had to wet my nasty snotty nose it's just allergies I, I had COVID two weeks ago so I know it's not that it's literally just allergies so here's what the bottom looks like it's all leather on the bottom and it is I mean it smells just like leather too like I don't, I don't really understand why people are so confused by luxury versus like contemporary high versus low. Like when you smell these bags, like they smell like genuine leather. They, I mean, they don't have the same price tag as Louis Vuitton, Hermes, Chanel, but like you get the same product for 70 to 80% less than, you know, what you're paying with those other brands. But, um, I mean, I get why we spend what we spend on the other brands because they're, you know the name speaks for itself when you carry them when you wear them when you buy them they hold their value you can sell them and still you know make a quick buck but there's still something to be said about these contemporary brands with these really good quality bags that they make like just holding this bag right here i can smell the le leather permeating off of it and i know it's going to last me for a long time this is going to be my everything bag like it's my work bag right now but in the summertime i'm going to be throwing stuff in it for the pool it's gonna be my church bag um, every week. Like anytime I need a big bag to throw a whole bunch of stuff in, this is going to be the bag that I'm going to choose. And it is equivalent to the, the, the Louis Vuitton GM Never Full. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with what I have in it. Um, I'm just gonna give it a spin so y'all can see all the way around it. That's what the side looks like. And here's the back and there's no like little tab right there but there is, the snap is right there. And then here's the other side. And here's back around the front and here's that leather tab. This is Kate Spade, New York. And there's nothing on the bottom. And then the, the other snap part is on the other side of that, that Kate Spade. Okay, I'm gonna set it down and start going into what's in my bag because oh my goodness that was killing my arm so it came with this little um pouch that says kate spade new york and it has a really smooth zipper and a little d-ring on the side you can clip it to that um key leash on the inside but i don't because I, I love it for my airpods and my key and my work key so that i can just quickly fish them out of my bag because this bag has no shape 
and like if you're the kind of person that likes structure you would need a um a bag organizer but if you're like me and loves the like squishy very hobo look when it you you throw it over your shoulder like it's fine and i just use this pouch for more organization because i do the pouch system i don't really love bag organizers um i just love buying pouches and like organizing my bag that way but this is the pouch that it came with and it legit smells just like leather i'm not sure what kind of leather but just sitting here next to this pouch i can smell the, le the leather permeating off of it once again just like i did when i had the bag up close to my nose but this is my little Oh, and it has the Kate Spade. Um, it says Kate Spade on the lining. Let me see if I can, I don't know if y'all can see that anywhere. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it, but it says Kate Spade on the um, textile lining. But I just have some tissues, some hand wipes, my NARS, my Holy Grail NARS, the Laguna color that I absolutely can't live without. It's like chapstick lip gloss all mixed in one. It's so good. Um, and it matches perfectly with my lips and gives my lips like a, a slight glow. It's perfect. Um, some Carmex, can't go wrong with that in the winter months. I've got some lotion that I don't know if I love or not, but it's there. And I've got some change at the bottom and some cough drops. I'm going to try to stick everything back in the bag when I take it out to make it easier once the video's over to like just throw everything back in the bag. So that's what I keep in this pouch. And then I bought, I bought my younger son a Nintendo Switch and didn't buy my older son one. And then I bought myself one. And then I found myself getting like strangely addicted to it. So I was like, you know what? I'm a mom. I'm a teacher. Like I cannot be addicted to a video game. So I gave it to my niece and then my niece had this one and I gave her my pink one and then she gave this one to my older son because he didn't have one and he was like mom I want one mom I want one and I was like okay I'll just switch with uh, my niece because I didn't want to give him my pink one so I was like you take this pink one you give my son the yellow one and he played it for a good month and it just sat so I was like you know what son give me that I'm gonna start playing Animal Crossing again so it's in my possession now and when I'm bored or when I have free time when I'm not reading because I love to read that's like my favorite hobby I play Animal Crossing on my son switch and so that's why it's in the bag and then y'all already know if you've seen any of my videos you know that my Gucci um, Ophidia cosmetic case is my Walgreens in a bag and it has like all my band-aids pills like all, all non messy items um that I need to bring with me and, and I literally open this bag every day so I I need it and I'm so glad that I have it I would repurchase again I am keeping my eye out in case they re-release that little mini version of this one I would love to have that one um attached to my keys but this is my this is the medium size and then they have a large size <clears throat> excuse me and then I customized it so whereas I can put a strap on it to use it as a crossbody and I love to do that and then I have an LV6 key, um, and I use this as my wallet. Um, I wasn't using it much at all because I don't really use keys like that. Um, and so this this piece was just kind of sitting around, and before it went to the chopping block, I was like, I need to actually start using this. So I figured I could just start putting cards in it since I didn't have like a legit card case and having my cards and my keys together is like perfect. I know I said in a previous video that it wasn't smart to um, put your ID with your keys in your, um, in your, uh, key, key, oh my gosh, what is this? Your key holder. Don't put your ID with your key holder because people will have your address and then they'll have a key to your house. But my, my address on my ID and my key don't match. So it's working out for me right now. But if it happens to match, I will take my ID out of here and carry my ID separately from my key pouch. Still good advice, but it doesn't apply to me right now. So I'm, I'm having my um, ID inside of this key, key clad key pouch. And then here is all my lip products, my black opium YSL perfume, a mirror, and like little messy items, um, like my Tide to Go pen and all that. So I keep all that in here in my Pride Nolita 15. And then I have this huge power bank that's super heavy, but when I need it, I need it. So a couple of days a week, I nanny. And um, usually by the time I get to their house, like two, three o'clock, my, my phone needs a charge. So this comes in super handy. Sometimes my phone doesn't charge overnight. And I don't realize it until I get to work. So it's handy for in the morning when I need my phone, you know, all day long, at least until I get home around two o'clock, 2.30 in the afternoon. So um, it's, it's just, it's so good to have, but I am looking to add 
a lighter one to my collection because this is just way too heavy and bulky but it would be it would be good for travel but i just don't need this weighing down my bag and i am on the market for a smaller um more more effective one but this will stay until i find another one and this one is the belkin brand and i got it at target and it that's how it looks on the top and then i have a nolita uh, not Nolita, the Coach Pride um, bracelet, um, the 2022 collection. Yes, 2022 collection. And I just have pens, my whiteout tape. This is like stationary um, type of bag. And I have my USB for my um, my power bank in here too. So this is like utilitarian type of pouch. It has pens, like work stuff, like writing and all that in, in here. <coughs> and I did rip the bottom of the zipper a little bit like it comes off track but i'm not mad um this is like the only coach product that i've ever received that has been kind of faulty not mad at all and then in my um a long champ um pochette uh, cosmetic case or whatever they call it now i remember back in the day I used to call it a pochette um i just have snacks and i know it's chock full but like i'm really trying to do better with eating and preparing myself for being hungry and making better choices so it's got like all the healthy stuff in it protein bars nuts it's got some drink packs in case i want to add something to water it's got tea in case i you know my throat's scratchy and i need something while i'm at work it's got the little true lemon little lemon packets to like put in your water if you want lemon water um I mean, it, it's it's got. I think it's got. It, well, it had cough drops, but I took them out and put them in, put them in that Kate Spade pouch. But it's got literally anything in case like I'm out. My son's like, "Mom, I'm hungry." I'm like, I go right to here and I just pull something out, and he's good to go. I've got fig, I've got peanut butter, all the healthy things that will get me through in a pinch if I'm hungry, and so that I can make the right choice um, as far as my eating is concerned. So this is what this is, and it's so. Like, like there's no structure to it so I can just stuff it to the max and it is literally stuffed to the max but I literally love this and I would not don't be surprised if you see another one and a fun color in my collection because it's, it's just so good and then when I'm at church and like it's that time of the month I take this to the bathroom and people are like oh my gosh that bag is so cute but um it just it's just so good and so here's it here this is I've had it for I want to say almost a year now and it, it literally looks pristine brand new and then I have my Touchland hand sanitizer. I have my Walmart brand um, Vaseline petroleum jelly, but I use it for my hands because lotion just doesn't cut it in the winter months. So I like to put Vaseline on my hands and whoop, I just threw it. And on my cuticles and everything and between my fingers, it really gets the, really cuts the dryness down. So I like to use Vaseline and I'm just about out and I might need to grab another. And then here are my AirPods stuck to that that um key leash in the bag and i've got a bag of room chicken pop in case i need it today which i don't think i will but i got it just in case i do have a little snacks pouch one day when i do a matter of fact the next time i do um another what's in my bag or like revealing a bag on my channel i'm gonna i'm gonna bring my snacks pouch over and kind of walk y'all through what I keep in it and I keep it here at work in case like I forget my lunch or like I'm just hungry and I don't really have anything I didn't pack and I'm just like way hungry like I have like a whole bunch of like healthy snacks here that I I have on hand just in case I need it but I'm just gonna add that boom chicka pop to that pouch and these little made good granola bites to that and I love these with yogurt so like they always provide food for us here at work. So like if I have yogurt, but wanna, I don't love to eat yogurt plain, like just by itself, I like to put stuff in it. So like this would be really good for, to go in with yogurt. And it's 100 calories a pack and how many sugars? Eight, six sugars, so, and 15, 15 carbs. So a little bit high on the carb side, but if you're really watching what you eat, this is not gonna hurt you one bit to have this with some yogurt. And here are my work keys. And last but not least, this is my little packet. I don't know if you've ever heard of um, the packet brand, but you put these pouches in the freezer and they freeze. And this was this was frozen solid and it had like icicles coming off of it. And I didn't want it to get everything in my bag wet, so I just put it in a freezer bag. And then I have chicken salad in there and chicken salad and there's, oh, and um, yogurt and granola and here's a little tort like carb free tortillas that I was going to use to go with the um with the chicken salad that I have in there and then this these late July um tortilla chips are going to go with um my little carb free chicken salad tortillas and then this is what the inside of the bag looks like 
completely empty. Oh, those AirPods on me. It's awesome in there. Those AirPods. Um, this is what the inside of the bag looks like. This is what the it's like raw on the inside. I absolutely, I really, really am very shocked at how much I like this bag. I really don't care for Kate Spade, honestly. I'm just going to be honest. But the construction of this bag and how like malleable and squishy that it is and how it just like fits everything but still has structure on the bottom. Like it just, it gives a good slouch when I put it on my arm. The sh you guys know how I feel about a strap drop. The strap drop I think is about eight and a half to nine inches, which is fine for me. It'll be even better in the summer because I'll be wearing less clothes. I won't be wearing this, you know, bubble vests and jackets and sweaters. So it'll be even better come the summer months, but it's fine for right now. But this is my new bag. Um, I know I have my Longchamp City and I know I have my MCM Liz Shopper. I have other totes, but I, I just really see myself not moving out of this, like it being my work bag, my everything bag. And then I do have a bag on my wish list that I am going to be purchasing. I don't want to say because I want to surprise you guys, but as soon as that bag hits my hands, I will be doing an unboxing because I've never owned a bag like this before. And it's actually something that I need in my collection. It's not just something that I want, but it's actually something that I need. But um, it's all the rage right now. I know I want you guys to guess which bag you think that I'm gonna purchase. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any questions about this bag. Um, oh, I, didn't, I never told you where I got it from. I got it at Marshalls for $99, $99.99, so $100, which is not bad at all. Um, you can find it on Poshmark, Depop, um, eBay. Check your local Marshalls and um, your Marshalls and your TJ Maxx to see if you can find it because I posted it in the coach group that I'm in um, on Facebook and somebody said that they saw it at their local Marshalls. So I think they're kind of they're in right now like marshals all over the country are getting them there may, may be last season's bag from kate spade i don't know but check your local marshals to see if they have it and then if they do have it maybe not buy it right now if they have several of them kind of give it a minute and see if they'll go on sale but if they only have one like my marshals only had one so i just scrapped it because i knew i was gonna like it but um thank you guys so much for watching and if you have any questions let me know in the comments and stay tuned and guess which bag is going to be next on my channel for what I'm going to reveal to you guys. Thank you. Have a good day.